Alright guys, so for this recipe you are going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit before you start getting your recipe ready. So here I have my spaghetti squash. I'm just uh, peeling off the sticker that came on it and that is actually the only thing going in the mason jar. So this is definitely a mason jar worthy meal. So you can see I've just put it in the mason jar there. And then once I've washed my spaghetti squash, I'm just cutting it directly in half down the middle. So this did take me a couple of uh, minutes to do, but once you have it cut directly down the middle, you're just gonna split it apart and then you're going to want to scoop the insides of it out. All right guys, so as you can see, I am just scooping all of the seeds in the insides out. You don't have to be super, super precise about this. You just kind of want to get all of the guts out so that you're not getting cooked when you cook your squash. And then once you feel like you have seen both sides, you can begin to put it in the oven. Here, obviously, this is food waste, so it's gonna go in compost. It's not gonna go in the mason jar because it is gonna be composed and go back into the environment, so it's not gonna count as mason jar waste. And if you really wanted to, you could even save the seeds and bake them, just like pumpkin seeds. I chose not to do this this time because I actually had pumpkin seeds for my pumpkins for Halloween, but definitely another option just to utilize a little bit more of the squash. Okay, so as I mentioned, as soon as they're done and cleaned, you're gonna put both the halves on your baking tray. The recipe suggested using tin foil. I didn't to just prevent waste, and it honestly worked fine for me, so I would say you definitely can omit the tin foil. You might have to wash your tray a little bit extra, but it prevents waste, and it was totally worth it. So I'm just gonna pop it in there, and then I'm gonna bake it for 30 minutes in the preheated oven or until a sharp knife can be inserted into it with only a little bit of resistance. So if you wanna just set your timer and then check it depending on uh, your oven, you just wanna make sure there's no resistance. Okay, so now I am just preparing the things that I wanna put into my spaghetti squash. You can choose whatever you like. I obviously chose to add things that are gonna create no waste. So I'm gonna be adding some fresh veggies to mine. So the first thing I have here is obviously green pepper. I purchased it and then washed it and now I'm just cutting it up, cutting the insides out and again any of the seeds or anything that you're cutting out of the pepper and not using are food waste going in the compost so they're not going to go in the mason jar. So I'm just slicing up my pepper then I'm going to chop it up a little finer um, and then I'm going to get ready to pan fry that after I've cut my other ingredients. Okay, so I also chose to add um, mushrooms into my spaghetti squash, so I just rinse them and then I'm chopping off the very ends and again, food waste, not getting added to the mason jar because it's compostable. I'm chopping them up, it doesn't matter what order you chop your veggies in, but it will matter what order you choose to pan fry them in at the end, um, which I'll get into in just a minute. Here I am chopping up some onion just to give it a little bit more flavor. And um, again, peeled the onion, had already had this one peeled, stored it in a reusable container in my fridge. The peel went in the compost, no further waste here in the mason jar. And finally, I just chose to dice up one clove of garlic, again, to give it a little bit more flavor. I peeled the clove of garlic, again, compostable, and I just diced it really quickly so that I could add it. Okay, so while my squash is cooking in the oven, I'm gonna prep the rest of the ingredients that I'm adding. So I'm just adding a little dot of olive oil to my pan to get it warming up. Um, this glass olive oil jar can actually be re reused sorry, for lots of different things, although it is nowhere close to empty right now. Once the oil has heated up, you're gonna to wanna to add the vegetables that take a little bit longer to soften first. So the first um, veggie that I'm adding is my green pepper, my onion, and my garlic all together just because they kind of tend to soften at the same rate. And then I'm gonna let those sit for a bit before I am going to add my mushrooms in. Okay, so now I'm just adding my mushrooms, like I said, because they soften a lot faster. Um, so again, you're just gonna wanna keep that on a low heat so it can slowly start to pan fry. There's no rush because the squash is already is cooking in the oven, so you can time this so that they're done at pretty much the same time. Um, and I'm just gonna be stirring them around to make sure all of the veggies get um, enough time to soften. Okay, so now that the squash has come out of the oven, I had just cut into it to make sure that it was soft enough. And now you can see I'm scraping it and it's coming out like spaghetti or like noodles. So you're just gonna scrape it and you can actually scrape it all the way down until you have just a very, very thin 
um, sort of squash skin, which I was really surprised about. You can get pretty much down to the very, very last bit of it. So just make sure you're getting all of your squash out when it comes out of the oven. I'm just scraping it here into this big reusable container. This is how I stored it in my fridge. And then when I took it on campus for lunch, I just transported half of it to a smaller container and added whatever sauce of my choice that day, whether that was like pesto, pasta sauce, etc. cetera, um, in a smaller reusable container, took it on campus, ate my lunch, and then brought it home and washed it at the end of the day. And of course, once all of my squash had been added into my container, I added in all of my veggies. This is actually only half the squash in my container there. I wanted to add my veggies in the middle so it was easier to mix. So you actually do get like a very full size amount of spaghetti squash. It could certainly feed more than one person. All right guys, so that's the whole recipe. It honestly was not difficult to do and didn't take very long. If you prep your veggies and whatever you want to add while your squash is cooking, it's max about 35 minutes, which isn't too bad because it will last you a few meals. And the only waste was the sticker, which was awesome. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're inspired to create some of your own non-waste meals. And if you have any great suggestions for what to add to the spaghetti squash, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.